Hello, I'm Joe and welcome to Access A-List. First up, this year's celebrity Big Brother has proved even more controversial than usual, with the house erupting in a volcano of inappropriate behaviour. First up, Baywatch child star Jeremy Jackson was booted off the show by Channel 5 after allegedly attempting to grow X on the Beach star Chloe Goodman. But this was nothing compared to the behaviour of former Coronation Street actor Ken Morley. The 71-year-old who played Reg in the popular British soap was a cause of tension and disharmony from the moment he stepped into the house and twice used inappropriate language that was deemed to be racist by a big brother, which finally resulted in his premature removal. It has since been claimed by OK Magazine that in some unaired footage, all 12 of the other housemates had threatened to quit unless the deeply unpopular Morley was removed. And in yet more controversy, contestant Alexander O'Neill could be in trouble after reportedly saying he disliked Arabs. The former American R&B star, 61, apparently said in an interview before going into the house that black people were discriminated against by Arabs in his native Mississippi. He was quoted as telling the Sun newspaper, OK, honestly, Arabs, Arabs, I try not to hate anybody, but they are probably my most disliked and most distrustful people in the whole world. Some lighter news from the States now and after George Clooney's cringeworthy speech to his wife Amal Alamuddin at the Golden Globes last Sunday, American TV legend Ellen DeGeneres has released her own take by editing herself into the video. The revised clip which featured on The Ellen Show begins with Clooney at the podium accepting the Cecil B. DeMille Award and saying, so, congratulations to all of you, I've had a pretty good year myself. The footage then flashes to Alamuddin, but DeGeneres has superimposed herself and is grinning bashfully in George's empty seat with a champagne glass in her hand. But she then proceeds to spit it out everywhere when she realises he's actually talking to Amal. Definitely worth a watch. Another American star has had something slightly more serious to say this week, as Eva Longoria, who was speaking as the honorary chairperson of the Global Gift Gala in Dubai, said of her attitude towards Arabs, I'm Mexican-American, so I'm American, but I was raised with Mexican culture, so I have a different language, I have a religion. There's always biases that people have, and I think you have to put your best foot forward. Whether you're Islamic, whether you're Arabic, whether you're Mexican, whether you're European, whether you're French, Whatever it is, we all have a human connection. Money raised from the auction at the Global Gift Gala goes towards numerous charities and one of the experience prizes up for grabs was actually a day at the Formula One in Monaco with the lovely Longoria herself. Vroom vroom. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we brought you the sad news that Syrian action movie star Fahid Al-Najjar had died in mysterious circumstances. However, this week, Mulhak, the website that initially broke the story, has revealed the athlete and Syrian actor Fahid Al-Najjar is still alive and was seen at one of the restaurants in the city of Damascus. We don't know what to believe, but let's hope Fahid is okay and we'll bring you more on this story as we get it. Some exciting news now as we look ahead to the Sharjah Music Festival as yet another star performer is confirmed. Lebanese singer Majida El Rumi will be in concert at the Sharjah Media Centre on January 23rd. This is all part of the Emirates' growing reputation as a cultural hub in the region. It's the capital of Arab tourism for 2015 and in the second year of the festival, which will run from January 16th to 25th, things look like they're going to get even bigger and even better. Let's plan your cinema trip now and there are some massive films due out this week and what's more, some big Oscar contenders. Wild is the story of Cheryl Strayed, who's played by Reese Witherspoon, who driven mad by grief and the end of her marriage, embarks on an epic journey hiking the Pacific Crest Trail in a film which is about physical hardship and self-discovery and Witherspoon puts in the most powerful performance of her career. Whiplash has already been drawing extraordinary critical acclaim as a music student played by Miles Teller learns his craft under the tutelage of a volatile genius of a teacher played by J.K. Simmons who uses fear and intimidation to push his students to perfection. With two extraordinary central performances, this could be the shock winner come Oscars night. 
And finally, hankies at the ready, as testament of youth is the heartbreaking tale of a young English woman named Vera Britton, who served as a nurse in the First World War and then came home to become an academic, feminist and a pacifist after the conflict. It has a tragic love story at its heart and a breakout performance from newcomer Alicia Vikander and is based on Vera Britton's real memoirs, so it is an incredibly moving portrait of the true cost of war. Definitely three to watch out for. And finally, some big TV news. After the staggering success of Homeland, another hit Israeli spy thriller is coming to the US on TV and is set to be a huge success. The Gordon Cell has been a huge hit in Israel and is considered to be one of the best suspense series around. The show follows a central character perfectly caught between his loyalty to the state and his Russian family, but is sure to get a twist for the Western market. It will be called Allegiance and is due to air in the US this year and will star a cast relatively unknown outside of America. That's it from this week's Access A-List and for more of the latest entertainment news from all across the globe, make sure you check out Levant.tv. I'm Joe, thanks for watching.